Hello, 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 and welcome back to uh, the Glad Life YouTube channel. Uh, and I'm glad that you guys have come back to see what I'm going to be doing on my journey. Uh, and so this week, um, actually, I scrapped what we actually had planned for this week. <laughs> uh, I actually had a whole prepared like speech. Um, we have been preparing for the launch of this channel for about four weeks now. So I also had a lot of content. Um, so, uh, you know, I was headed, headed over at the editors to, to do some um, editing to pull together. But then at the last moment, I decided that I don't want to put that video up. I want to do something from the heart. And it's not that the stuff that I w was was going to be put up wasn't from the heart. It's, it's that um, one is following me around, so that is definitely going to be coming. Um, and the two was, you know, the, the speech was prepared. You know, I wrote it, um, had someone edit it for me as well. And it's an amazing speech. He's a really good speaker. Uh, but in this intro video, I actually said that I want to be real and raw with you guys. I want you guys to feel with me. The bumps and the bruises, trial and error. Um, so instead of uploading that video, I decided to just upload this video and just talk about how my week, how it's been. And honestly, the last three weeks have been very, very difficult for me. Um, I have relapsed three times. Yes, yeah, it's not, not very nice for me to have to even have to publicly say this to people. Um, I don't like this. Um, I've always been a private person. However, if I want to get better, um, I have to be honest. And if I want to inspire people, I have to be honest, you know? Uh, for those of you who've never had an addiction, being an addiction is kind of hard. It's not kind of, it is hard. Uh, I actually had uh, 44 days clean. So, you know, all those videos that I was uh, recording were during my clean time. Um, and then about three weeks ago, I relapsed for the first time and then the following week on uh, this Sunday and then, you know, this past Sunday. And, um, you know, it's, it's, in the moment, it's devastating for me. Um, many thoughts go through my head. Um, but the difference that I have now compared to how it was in the past is what I do. So I call it fortunate or not. Um, I am a person that I was not a, an everyday user. So uh, my relapse are like for a day. It's still a relapse, you know, I'm still not, I still, you know, it takes time to come out of my system. Um, so it's, it's fortunate for me that it's, it's only just a day, um, but it's been three consecutive weeks. But just imagine the people out there that do it every day, how hard it is for them, their struggle. Man. Um, so what I do, I reflect and I see what is the lesson. Um, and so my last one, which was just this past Sunday, uh, the lesson is, and y'all can, I, I didn't even tell my family this. <laughs> um, one, I hadn't been going to meetings. Uh, and, you know, in AA, they, they always say that, um, put your sobriety first. Um, and I, you know, I always just kind of, or I'm like, oh, whatever, dude, you know, I, you know, I got to live, I, I got to work, I got to do this. Um, and now it makes sense to me. It means that put your sobriety first to make sure that you're doing okay, because if you don't make sure and you're checking in with yourself and you're doing everything you need to do to stay sober, you fell off, then you lose everything else. You know, I don't, I don't want to lose everything else. Um, so that was my first lesson. I'm like, okay, I need to start going to meetings. I actually have one scheduled for 6 p.m. Uh, today, Monday. Um, 
Well, the other lessons I, I looked at, so my addiction is, is a combination um, of uh, crystal meth, um, but it's also, um, <laughs> it's, a, a, it's called SLA, sex love addiction. Um, and when I, when I slip, I always call it slip. <laughs> when I relapse, when I slip, it's more about me connecting with someone is going to be the one because I always had in my mind that I could find someone and um, we would use it and then we would fix each other. Man, that's the worst idea in the world. I don't know why I thought that that would work. Um, so I am actually going to an SLA um, meeting uh, at 6 p.m. today. I think it's super important that I do it. Uh, so uh, meetings. The addiction, uh, sorry, uh, meetings, and then also, I sat there and while I was reflecting, I thought, okay, Cedric, what do you do for you? Now, when I say what do you do for you, it means yes, you know, we might go outside and play, or um, you know, some people play video games, um, some people like to shop. Um, I do like to cook, but I find that therapeutic. That doesn't make me like super happy. I mean, I'm, I'm cool, I'm content. Um, and so I sat there and I was going through my mind. I'm like, what do I do for me? I'm, I'm thinking, I'm gonna take a little bit more time to think about it, but I am thinking to actually go back and take up the piano. Um, I want to spark my creativity mind again. Um, I remember when we had a piano in the house growing up that um, I actually wrote a song on And I loved it. I used to just go down there and just mess about and I really enjoyed it. So I thought, hmm, maybe that, take up that, that, I'll get my pilot's license. So I being up in an air in a single engine plane is so nice. So I figured out that I do have some things, but now I need to make sure that I implement them and do them. Because the whole purpose of me saying about what my addiction was is because it stems from a, fa uh, a factor of loneliness. Sometimes I don't want to come home and just be by myself and I want that partner, I want that person with me. I'm, want to, uh, to have a, a, a husband and a teacher. Um, but that's also because I keep busy, 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 and then nothing. So I need to do something that's going to bring me just joy. Yes, I like to go see my friend while well, in this coronavirus. I haven't been doing any of that. Um, but I want to have an outlet for me. And how that came about after my relapse, I um, sometimes I do this. I just sat in the park for hours, just sat there and chilling. Um, I listened to some podcasts. I listened to some things about um, a vibration. And these are all things I'm going to start sharing. And these are all the trial and error things that I'm doing to try to help me get to where I want to get to. Um, but while I was sitting there in the park, this guy was just jamming on his saxophone. And I was just enjoying hearing him jam. It was so nice. And um, then that's when it's, I posed that question. It's like, what do you do such you like that? Because that's what you should do. Have something that you can just, an outlet. So I think that's vitally important for all of us. You know, in this busy world, this crazy time, you need to make sure you have some time for you to do something you want to do. And like, I like to be my friends, like all those sort of things, but that's still not me. Because when you come home and you're by yourself, that's when the, the thoughts start to creep in. That's when everything else, so when you are completely happy with yourself inside and you have that outlet, then those should start to reduce. So, yeah, so, uh, so I did that. Now, one thing about me, I'm determined. 
and anyone who knows me, they'll, they'll, they'll agree. I don't give up. And I'm not going to give up until I win. I know that for a fact. So even though you have a relapse, the most important part is that you learn from it and that you pick yourself back up and you get right back on there. And that's what I did. I'm back. You know what? I got to brush off the, the woe is me. Uh, you know what happened? I um, spoke with my uncle for a good hour today. You know, he's um, being really um, very super supportive. And um, I have my other friends that I can speak to. I'll speak to them later, but you know, I, I do it in stages. But uh, I, I pick myself back up and I get back out there and I'm ready for tomorrow. So um, I just want you guys to understand that this is going to be real. This is going to be raw. It's going to. You know, it might not be pretty all the time. I'm hoping it a little bit more pretty. <laughs> but the truth is, life ain't always pretty. So I wanted to bring you realness. I wanted to bring you exactly what's been happening with me for the last three. So now when I get into showing you the life, because that whole that whole speech was talking about, you know, last time I used and I was on my bed and you know I wanted to commit suicide. And um I don't think that that was really quite appropriate as I'm relapsed. So I thought, let me switch it up. So this was an ad hoc video that I did at the last moment, um, just because I want you guys to, you know, follow me on my journey. So I hope that you can get something from this. Um, and I hope that you can too, you know, start uh, your journey on the glad life. <laughs>